the best way to make your voice heard and make an impact in your community? In order to properly register, you have to bring with you two forms of ID. One being a state ID, driver's license, or a government document, and the other being something that you've received in the mail. Make sure to register, as it is the only way to make sure the officials you want to represent you take office. Voting is quick, easy, and the best way to make your voice heard. DHS Seniors. The Senior Carnival will be held on Tuesday, May 31st from 10.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. outside on the football field. The Carnival will be done in time for students to get back for their 7th and 8th hour finals. There will be inflatables and a magnetic axe throw wall. We will also be showing the Senior Slideshow and will be taking a class photo. Pizza and a Custard Cup Sunday Bar will be served for lunch along with other snacks. Please RSVP by completing the Google Forms no later than Monday, May 16th, an RSVP is required to receive a free class t-shirt. Please join the DHS Local History Club for a tour of the Fisher Theater on Wednesday, May 25th. One of Danville's most iconic buildings, the theater was constructed in 1884 as a grand opera house in Danville. J Mr. Rome will discuss the celebrated history of the building, including the major renovations that were completed in 2019. If you are interested in joining Local History Club for the tour, meet at the Fisher Theater at 3.15 p.m. on Wednesday, May 25th. See Mr. Gritton in room T202 if you have any questions. NHS members, listen up for several important announcements. Cookie dough order forms and money are due by Friday, May 20th. T-shirts are now available for purchase and are $10. Orders and money due to Ms. Jackson. NHS seniors should stop by room 136 when convenient and grab your items from graduation. Congratulations to our new officers for next year, C.C. Brown, Ted Mann, Ja'Kayla Scott, Naya Crawford, Lillian Brown, and Mirabella Biagi. We can't wait to see the great things you will do. Future NHS students, don't forget applications are due by June 10th. Feel free to visit Ms. Jackson in 136 or email her if you have any questions about the application process. And last, there will be one final meeting for the school year on Tuesday, May 24th after school in room 136. Black Student Union, along with the Gender and Sexuality Club, Students Advocating for Feminism and Equality, and Speech Team would like to invite you to an open house from 3.15 to 5 p.m. on Thursday, May 19th in Mrs. Lester's room, 125. Refreshments and arts and crafts will be available. If you are interested in any of these clubs for next year, please stop by. Any student who was on prom court and did not pick up their yard sign, please grab it this week from Ms. Lever's office in room 317. The AVID seniors invite you to the AVID basketball tournament this Friday, May 20th at 4.45 p.m. here at DHS. All are welcome to attend. The cost is $5 or $3 for children or anyone with a student ID. We will have snacks and drinks for sale, a 50-50 raffle, minute to win a games, and a few rounds of knockout that you can participate in, all for just $1. Proceeds will be used to help with medical needs in the community. Invite your family and friends to join. If you would still like to participate, see Mrs. Heston in room 324B or fill out a Google form. Individuals cost $5, teams are $25. Cap and gown delivery will be Tuesday, May 24th from 1.45 to 3 p.m. in the gym. This is for all seniors and early grads. Herf Jones will be at the Senior Carnival for any last minute cap and gown deliveries or to take care of any issues. Any senior who has received full academic or athletic college scholarships, please see your school counselor. This information needs to be documented prior to graduation. Summer school forms are now available. Please stop by our school counselor's office to get registered. Seniors, Watchfire is hiring. Mr. Hart will be here on Tuesday, May 24th during all lunch periods. On Wednesday, May 25th, he will meet with students individually to discuss potential employment with Watchfire. If you are interested in this job opportunity, make sure you stop by the table to visit Mr. Hart during your lunchtime.